Good morning, class. How are you today? Oh, very good because all of you are fine. Before we start, can we stand up and let us pray all together? Thank you, class. And now, before we start our lessons or discussion, we will have an activity. Are you ready for our activity class? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good because all of you are ready. So, this activity is entitled Matching Type. So, now, before we'll go to our activity, I will divide the class into two groups. Team girls versus team boys. And each group, I will give an envelope. This is for the team girls and this is for the team boys. And the inside envelope class is, they have a chat here that you need to solve. And I will give the directions. So listen very carefully class. The direction is solve the numbers using different operations to know what letters will match in the alphabet. So I will give the example class to be clarified to all of you what we are going to do in our activities or in our game. So like this, 2 plus 4 is equals, very good class, 6. So what is the 6 alphabet? So very good, the 6th alphabet is letter F class. So now, because all of you understand what we are going to do class, I will give you one minute to answer our activity or our game. So are you ready once again class? Okay now, timer starts now. Time's up. So I see the class that all of answers are, score are correct. But suddenly, the winner is the team girls because... They are quick to finish the activity or our game. So now, boys, then stand up and give a clap, a Dunisha clap to all girls. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good, very good. Thank you for your cooperation class in our activity or in our game. So now, let's proceed to our review. Okay, class, can you still remember our last topic? Okay, what is all about? Yes, it's all about culture. What is culture? Anyone? Yes, Juan. What is culture? Wow, very good. This time, I have prepared here another activity. This activity is entitled, It is nice to be happy but sad me. In the same group, I will give you another envelope. This is for uh, group 1. This envelope is for group 1. And this envelope is for group 2. Okay. But before that, requesting everyone to form a circle so that you can collaborate your answer. This game is to test how far you can understand our previous lessons. So, I have prepared five questions. All you need is to raise happy face if it is true and sad face if it is not. Okay, you raise happy face like this if it is true. And sad face for false or not true. Okay, do you understood class? Okay, very good. Let's start our question number one. It is easy to identify, explain your own culture. Okay, number two. Religion is an important part of culture. Okay. Number three, people from other cultures might think Americans are strange. Okay, what is considered normal is a part of culture. Okay, number five, last question. You can learn a lot about a culture from their language. True language reflects culture. We have more words for things that are important in our culture. Okay, very good. Since group one got the highest score, so please give a wow clap. Okay, very good. 
did I give you an assignment class? Hmm. What was it? Okay, everyone pass your assignments. Okay, thank you. Class, who wants uh, another game? Okay. So, I give you an another game. This game is entitled XYZ. If I say XX, all the girls will stand. And if I say XY, all the boys will stand too. And if I say XYZ, all of you will stand. And whose person will stand last are the lucky person to answer the question that I have prepared. This game is to test how fast you are who's good in listening. Okay, are you ready class? Yes, we are. Okay, very good. Let's start. XX XX XY XX XYZ Okay, very good. The game is over and the lucky person who won the game is Rhea. You are the person that answer my question. Okay. Human culture is a A. Partly inherited genetically. B. Entirely learned. C. Limited to relative rich societies with sophisticated technologies. Or D. All of the above. My answer is letter B, teacher. Yes, correct. Letter B. You get the correct answer, yeah? Uh, let's give her a round of applause. Everyone, please silence because I have an important announcement. Yesterday, I had attended a private party together with my colleagues, and unfortunately, our president is also here. So, we had a short conversation. So, I said to him on how you treated your teacher if he or she was discussing in front. I asked him for a piece of advice, and he gave me this letter. Karada Administrative Region Division of Agusan del Sur, Gunawa District 1, Libertad Elementary School. Their pupils. I am the President of the Philippines and President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. The news reached my palace that the pupils of grade 6 are nothing and not listening. That's why from now on I have prepared roles that you will follow otherwise. I will not pass and I will send you back to the 6th grade even if you get older. These are the guidelines that you have to follow. Number 1, sit properly. And number 2, listen carefully. Number 3, keep silence. And number 4, raise hand when answering. Yours truly, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, President of the Philippines. So plus, Listen carefully because we will now proceed to our next topic. Okay class, let's start our discussion by forming a group. Let's divide the class into four. Count one, two, three, and four. Now, go to your respective groups. I will play a video about our topic class. All you have to do is to listen and understand the topic being discussed in the video. And after that, you will be given an activity. Are you ready, class? Good morning, class. Today, we are going to talk about cultural relativism, cultural diversity, and cultural norms. But before that, first, we are going to talk about the difference between culture and society. So, what is culture? Culture is a set of beliefs, practices, learned behaviors, and moral values that are passed on from one generation to another. In short, culture is a social behavior or norms found in a society, whereas society is a group of people living together who have a common purpose and or common culture over time. 
We can also say that culture and society have a connection since culture is something that helps us differentiate one society from another. It also unites social structure and culture provides guidelines to people, which is the society, to organize themselves. So, okay, again, culture is the set of beliefs or practices that is being practiced by the people or the society. Now, let's proceed to cultural relativism. So, what is cultural relativism? Cultural relativism is the ability to understand a culture on its own terms and not to make judgments using the standards of one's own culture. The goal of this is to promote understanding of cultural practices that are not typically part of one own culture. In short, when we say cultural relativism, it refers to not judging someone's culture based on your own standards of what is right or wrong or what is strange or normal. Let's say for example, instead of saying or thinking fried crickets are disgusting, one should instead ask why do some cultures eat Fried insects. So, the second statement state or tend to understand instead of judging one's culture about eating fried insects. Now, class, who are familiar with the word diversity or diverse? When we say diversity, it refers about different forms or being different from one another. So, Cultural diversity is the quality of diverse or different cultures as opposed to monoculture, the global monoculture, or a homogenization of cultures, or akin to cultural evolution. To be precise, when we say cultural diversity, it is the existence of variety of cultural groups within a society. For example, in a classroom, the children or the pupils have different race, language, and religion. That is an example of cultural diversity. Last but not the least is the cultural norm. When we say cultural norm, it is the standards we live by. They are the shared expectations and rules that guide one's behavior of people within the social group. These are learned and reinforced from parents, grandparents, friends, and even teachers, and others while growing up in a society. So coming from the word norm, it means it is a rule that is accepted standard or it is the authoritative standard in a society. So, some cultural norms are the style of dresses. For example, during pre-colonial period, Filipino women used to wear barot saya, while men used to wear barong. So, that is an example of cultural norms that is accepted in a society. Another cultural norm is uh, the behavior that is shared in a cultural group. Class, did you understand our topic? Very good! Now, this will be our activity. I will give a topic in each group. And all you have to do is to report and elaborate it in front of the class. I will give you 10 minutes to study and discuss it in your group. Let's start with the group 1. Cultural Relativism Cultural Relativism is the ability to understand a culture in its own terms and not to make judgments using the standards of one's own culture. Cultural relativism is the view that all beliefs, customs, 
and effects are relative to the individual within his own social context. In other words, right and wrong are culture specific. For example, if the person believes that abortion is morally wrong, then it is wrong for her. In other words, it would be morally wrong for Susan to have an abortion. If Susan believed that abortion is always morally wrong, the goal of this promote understanding of cultural practices that are not typically parts of one own culture. Okay, thank you group one. Now let's proceed to group two. Cultural diversity. Cultural diversity is the quality of diverse of different cultures as opposed to monoculture, the global monoculture, or a homogenization of cultures, and cultural evolution. The first cultural diversity can also refer to having different cultures respect each other's differences. Cultural diversity is the extent of a variety of cultural groups within a society. For example, having a multilingual team, having a diverse range of age working together, having policies that are vocally against discrimination. In addition, cultural diversity is helps us to recognize and respect ways of being that are not necessarily our own. Thank you, Group 2. Next will be the Group 3. Difference between culture and society. Culture is something that helps us to differentiate one society from the other. On the other hand, society is a community of people residing in a specific area, sharing common culture over time. Culture unites the social structure whereas society constructs it. Culture refers to the set of beliefs, practices, learned behavior, and moral values that are passed on from one generation to another. Society means an inter dependent group of people who live together in a particular region and are associated to another. Culture comprised of beliefs, values, and practices of group. In contrast, society compres comprises of individu individuals who share common beliefs, practice, costume, and etc. Culture is reflected in a fashion, lifestyle, taste, preference, music, arts. Opposed to society, which is reflected to economy. Thank you, Group 3. Now, let's proceed to the last group, which is the Group 4. Culture is a system of norms. Cultural norms are learned and reinforced from parents, friends, teachers, and others while growing up in the society. Cultural norms are the standards we live by. They are shared expectations and rules that guide behavior of people within social groups. For example, wearing a bikini to church may be offensive, but it is not against the law. Members of a culture must conform to its norms for the culture to exist and function. Hence, members must want to conform and obey rules. Okay, thank you, Group 4. Wow! Amazing class! I observed that everyone listened and understood properly. Thank you for your cooperation and... Let's give everyone an excellent clap. So I have some pictures here about our topic. I'm going to show you some pictures. If you think that this picture showing love and respect to our culture, 
show your thumbs up. But if the picture shows disrespect to the culture, show your thumbs down. Do you understand class? Yes, teacher. Are you ready class? Yes, we are. Now let's start. How about this picture? Okay, very good. Mary, why did you thumbs up? Because this picture shows equality despite of their color or race. Okay, very good, Mary. Next picture. How about this picture? Okay, how important is Bayanihan in our culture? Having Bayanihan teacher is the best culture that we have for helping one another. Okay, let's go to the next picture. How about this picture? Okay, this is Tom's Down. Why is it that this is Tom's Down, John? Because I observed, ma'am, that this picture shows bullying and discrimination. It doesn't show love and care. Yes, you're right. This is thumbs down because it shows bullying and discrimination. It doesn't show love and care to other people or to the another race. And the last picture, how about this picture? Okay, this is thumbs up. Why is it important to give respect to our parents and grandparents? It is important to give respect because it builds healthy relationship towards others. Yes, you're right. This picture uh, shows respect. And respect builds healthy relationship towards others. Wow, you're all good. And I think that everyone learned very well about our topic. Since we are done in our discussion, we will have another activity earlier. Two teams are girls' teams and boys' teams. At this activity, let's have the same group. Our activity is role playing. Do you like it, class? Okay, I have the criteria that, that I read for you. Number one, speech was clear and appropriate. Volume and inflection. Readings 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number two, role was played in convincing, consistent manner. Reading 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number three, arguments and viewpoints expressed. Fifth, role play. Reading 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number four, costumes and props were effectively used. The readings 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number five, role play was well prepared and organized. The readings 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number six, Role play capture and maintain audience interest. The reading 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I have here a box in my hand. I want you to pick a leader for each team and come here in front. And you're going to pick what kind of your topic play later. I'll give a 10 minutes to prepare and 5 minutes for your preparation. Now, let's start with the boys team. Wow, the presentation of the group is outstanding. Let's give them an applause. And our next presenter is girls team. And all teams are very good, but we, the winner is boys team. Let's give them a wow link clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Approve, approve. Wangaling, wangaling. 
To sum up for today's lesson, get one per sheet of paper and answer the following questions. This will test how far did you understand our lesson. Kindly read the direction. Okay, are you done? Let's check your answer. Very good. And for your assignment, copy this question and answer it on your notebook and pass it in the next meeting. Goodbye, class. <laughs>